Hello. I wanted to take this opportunity to explain to you uh, what is meant by the midterm assignment. Um, this assignment will start at midterm, which is now. It was actually the date for midterm was June 18th, but you have until July 4th to get this completed. And then you're going to be updating it, which just hang on a minute, I'll explain that. Um, it's called an academic reflection. And the directions are to write a summary paragraph reflecting on your academic performance as a student during this semester. The following questions will serve as a guide for you as you write your academic reflection summary. When submitting the assignment to the Dropbox, you need to write at the top of your page, Academic Reflection, and include your name. Uh, it's also a good idea to save this to a jump drive so that when you get to the end of the course, we will be updating what we wrote here at midterm with more uh, updated information. I'll explain that. So it would be a good idea to save it to a jump drive when you get finished typing it. Um, number one, the first question that you can use, now this is just my ideas if you want to use something else to help you reflect, but this was just some ideas that I had. At the beginning of the semester in this class, we discussed both long and short-term goals. Do you feel as if you met your short-term goals for the semester? And that's in regard to academic uh, goals, um, you know, grades, that type of thing. Now, um, right now, you may say yes as we get on toward the end of this um, uh, semester, which is not that far off. You may change your mind, or you, it hopefully it'll be the other way around. You will think you're doing better toward the end. The second question that will help you reflect is name one thing or more that was a downfall, a stumbling block so far for you this semester and explain why it was a down why it was a downfall for you. Some examples that we've talked about in class is, you know, time management issues, procrastination, not prepared for class assignments and tests, stress management like not enough sleep, too many distractions, relationship issues, health problems, poor diet and exercise are some examples there. The third reflection question, what is something you have improved upon at this point? Okay, we talked about what was a downfall. Now, what are some things that you feel like you've improved on? Once again, setting goals, prioritizing, understanding of North Georgia Tech's uh, accounts and how to utilize them effectively. What about time management strategies? Have you learned anything that, that has helped you? And what about note-taking strategies? And then we will discuss in Chapter 6, we discuss study skills. In 7, we'll discuss some test-taking skills. So hopefully that will be something maybe when you update this part of the assignment at the, at the end of the course, the final exam part, you can add in that, the things that we've discussed since midterm. I hope that makes sense. There's a fourth question. What is your plans to improve your grades in the future? And I put some examples there. What have you learned about your learning styles, your personality? Um, do you do a better job with note taking? What about reading and writing assignments? Do you have a better understanding of test taking strategies? Now some of those topics we haven't covered in the class yet. Um, we're going to be coming up on them. Like I said, chapter seven is test taking strategies. We talked about note taking strategies in chapter four with the Cornell notes um, uh, activity. That was one way of taking notes. Um, in chapters five was uh, some reading things to help with reading concentration. Chapter 6 is more about study strategies and memory, things that will help you remember things, like mnemonics. And then um, there'll be some other things that you will add later. Uh, for the midterm part, you just need to get this started and submitted soon. Uh, I did put a date as July 4th, but in just about maybe three plus short weeks after that, the very final date is July 27th. 
So that is when the final of this would be due. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Right now you're submitting what you have for this academic reflection at midterm. You're going to be updating what you wrote at midterm as a part of your final uh, exam. Really our final exam is putting together a portfolio and this is part of the portfolio assignment. So we're starting it at midterm and we're going to update it and conclude it as, the, as a part of our final. Uh, get started on that. Like I've already mentioned in emails, I will not see you in a face-to-face -face setting again until July the 6th. That's Monday, July 6th, which means um, you're going to have some time off from actually having to come to school, but there are still assignments in ANGEL. So don't forget about the class. I don't want to, you to get back on the 6th and, and, you know, go into a panic attack because you haven't gotten anything done. Please keep a check on ANGEL and stay up, stay caught up with uh, announcements and emails. I'm trying my best to keep you posted as best I can. Uh, good luck. If you have any questions, ask. I am available through email. And if you need immediate help, text me. Uh, have a great weekend. Hope you enjoy your uh, week of the fourth.